So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try and tune down what I wrote here. <laughs> Just a little bit, right? So, uh, uh, I'm going to use my time here to just cut through all the garbage and call it like it is. You guys claim to be nonpartisan, yet you have obvious disdain for everything conservative, any strong conservative beliefs, family freaking values, just absolutely period, period. I've talked to a lot of people on the streets lately, and um, Ms. Kane, you want to talk about burning bridges? You guys are burning your bridges like you would not believe. Average citizens are fed up. Let me, let's go through some of the things that you guys have done. You guys tried to use the federal government and the FBI to intimidate us. You've shut down public broadcast function, actually censoring people. It, it's censorship. It's unbelievable. You constantly reject our request for, for, to further investigate expenditures. Um, Teachers can't get paid right, so what do you go ahead and do? Instead of figuring it out and keeping things within the United States, you're hiring non-citizens. What the hell is wrong with you people? It's, it's, it's unbelievable. This contract you guys are now signing on to, I'm going to tell you right now, you do not have my consent to use my kids as guinea pigs. You do not have my consent to collect whole shared data. You do not have my consent Period. Let it be known. Your partisan stances are so deeply ingrained that you're actually pushing back on my rights as a parent. I've read and reread House Bill 1557 trying, uh, multiple times trying to understand how anyone can stand against it. It simply would require the, uh, those representing the school board to adopt procedures to reinforce the fundamental rights of parents and allow us parents to make decisions regarding the upbringing of our children. That's a good thing. It requires that you, our public schools, to notify and to stop discouraging parental involvement in critical decisions. Again, what's your issue? It requires parental consent for all health care services because anything else would be immoral. And despite the lies, if you actually read the bill, it's obvious that it has nothing to do with being gay or being straight. It simply requires that you stop inappropriate discussion with extremely young children. Mm -hmm. It does not stop any, ch uh, any child from discussing feelings with any teacher, administrator, or counselor. In fact, us, we the people, the parents, encourage discussion. But damn it, we demand to be a part of that discussion. Now, it, it, it's got to be pretty hard to argue with a bill that is so pro-parent without declaring that you're a complete totalitarian who believes that my children, all children, belong to the state. So what is it? Do you hate our constitutional republic? Our next speaker is Alexander.